going to balance some propellers today. So I've got all the items here that I'm going to need to do this. The first item I've got is my top flight prop balancer, which you can see this is the fixture you use to put the prop in, and it's suspended by magnets, which makes this a very good balancer because it's a very low friction. Uh, I've got paper towel, clean paper towel, some clear nail polish, a piece of 220 grit sandpaper, and a variety of props here. Three are new, one is used. So, what I'm going to do first is explain the concepts and why this is important. So it's important to get your props balanced uh, so that that always reduces vibration sent to your engine, which reduces vibration sent to the entire airframe, and it just keeps things... Uh, vibration is, is a source of... Uh, major source of damage for electronic components and engine components. So to keep your bal props balanced is very important. Now this prop I've got here is a Zor 10-4. And I don't know if you can see here, this little green dot indicates that these come more or less pre-balanced. In fact, I've got another Zor here that's got two dots where they try to balance the hub somewhat. What I found is that doesn't necessarily mean the prop is perfectly balanced. And you pay a pretty good price for these. And wood props uh, you don't typically like to just go damaging the finish of those to balance a prop. So I'm going to show you why I've got the clear nail polish remover here. But first, let's just slide this prop in here. And we'll just let it sit and we'll see this low friction surface is showing which side of the prop is the heaviest one. Now it's pretty important to do this in a room that's got very little airflow. If you've got a fan blowing, it's going to affect this and it could keep this thing swinging for some time. This can be a rather long, painstaking process. But I think you can see here that this tip here is the one that's going to be about the heaviest. So what you can do here, the concept of balancing a prop is when you determine which side's the heaviest one, which will be the one that's drooping down or completely straight down, you can either remove material from that side or you can add material to the lighter side. Well with a nice wood prop like this it has got this nice gloss finish on it I really don't want to be removing material and taking the finish off of it so that's why I use clear nail polish. So what I'm going to do here is I found that this is the heavy side so I'm going to apply a little bit of clear nail polish to the very tip of this thing and I'm just going to brush about three or four lines of this nail polish on there. And I'll put it back in here. Now nail polish is composed of the polish itself and then the solvent. And it's usually acetone that you can smell. So if you're going to use nail polish to balance a prop, you're going to need to let it actually dry so that that solvent can evaporate because that will affect the overall weight of the prop. So right now you can see, this is the side I applied the nail polish to, and it looks like it might be slightly heavier, which is a good thing right now because as this nail polish uh, dries and the solvent evaporates, I'm hoping that will lighten up just enough to bring this prop into good balance. And it looks like it's balancing pretty well right now. Now the one thing I didn't show you with why I've got the uh, clean paper towel here is if you're going to use the nail polish uh, method to balance a prop, you always want to make sure that your prop blade is extremely clean. So I would use a little bit of alcohol and clean the, plate, the blade down real good so that nail polish will have a nice good surface to adhere to. So I think you can see this prop looks like it's properly balanced you know, I right these now. ATC props. And a lot of people will tell you, well, they're balanced out of the factory and, and they're good to go just as it is. Well. Let's test that and see. This is a brand new APC 10-4 prop. And let's see. I haven't done anything to this prop. You saw me open the package. Let's open this, put this on the balancer and see how well this one is balanced. Now this one actually had to turn one of these cones around because it was just a little bit too wide. And it wasn't fitting in there tightly. So here's our APC prop. Now 
this prop right out of the package does look pretty well balanced. Okay, so on this APC prop, you can see this blade is just a hair heavier. But the one thing I didn't do with this prop, and I was going to demonstrate it on the top or the uh, master airscrew prop, is these nylon or fiberglass props like this, when they're shot in the mold, they come out with very sharp edges on there. So it's always good, especially the trailing edge of the prop, just to kind of run that sandpaper along that edge because basically this is a knife blade. So I just run, kind of tried to dull that edge just a hair. Now that probably affected the balance of this prop. So let's test that and see how that affected it. It looks like it had a <clears throat> pretty dramatic effect on it. It would appear right now that this blade is considerably heavier. But let's see if we can stop the rotation and just let it lay drop. So this one was what I was saying was heavy. Now that, see that's the thing is you want to be in a very dry or very uh, calm environment. <clears throat> Excuse me no wind currents at all because if you have a really properly balanced prop it can free float and you know spit all around and you may have a hard time determining what's the proper size or proper heavy side because it's really so it's so well balanced anyway okay so it looks like this side is still a little bit heavier so I'm going to use this nail polish and I'm just going to put just a tiny amount Now, when it comes to these master air screw props, these black nylon props, both sides of these things have a lot of a lot of sharp edges on them. So the first thing you're going to want to have to do on these is kind of lightly knock these edges off and even kind of go around the corners because trying not to change the shape too much at all, but even these edges have flashing from the molding process that you'll see. So you want to do this first before you go and balance it. And if you're a hand starter like I am, I always use a glove, but I mean even if you're using a glove, these sharp edges will eventually start tearing into your glove. So this APC prop looks balanced. Let's try this little master air screw now. Okay, so we got a pretty heavy, pretty heavy blade there. Now this time instead of using the nail polish, we're going to use some technique of removing material. So yeah, this side is pretty heavy. So what I'm going to do here, is I got a little bit of residue from that sticker that was on there, that might be enough to throw that off. I'm just going to kind of brush the back of this brush the back of that and I'm going to clean this off real good so we don't have any things helping to weigh that down. Okay, so that didn't do much. It's still really heavy there. You get the idea. You can sit here and sand these things down and keep doing that, but I'm going to prefer the nail polish method because nail polish is a little bit heavier and it goes on. I'm just going to paint about the first inch of this blade. And we'll 
we'll see how that impacts it. So this blade is incredibly out of balance. This side is still really heavy. So I'm really going to kind of just not even thin it out here at all. I'm just going to kind of grossly put some on here. Try and really add some weight to this thing because this thing is way out. Now if you notice, I'm really only doing this to the back side of the prop. That's just how I would do it so you don't have that stuff in the front. So you can see I'm getting a little bit closer here now. And obviously you want to put as mat the material as far out of the tip as possible to make it quicker to balance. If you put it down here it's going to take longer to balance and more material. You really don't want to add a whole bunch of weight to it. At least not as much as you have to. So I'm just going to gloop a little bit more on this tip. And hopefully that will be enough to bring this close and then once it dries we'll have to check it again. That's pretty close there. It's getting there. I'm going to give this thing a couple minutes to dry and add a little bit more to it. 